go and see the world and just show them what it really means to live life golden. Yeah, we'll go. What's going on everybody, Sophisticated here, your resident title trickster, bringing you the latest and greatest Fizz content there is to offer. If you enjoy what we do on the channel, remember to show your support by subscribing, smashing that like button, and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Without further ado, let's get right into today's gameplay. What's going on guys, Sophisticated here bringing you another Fizz gameplay video. Today we are in the jungle and we are up against a Gragas. Should be pretty, uh, pretty standard matchup, I mean you've, you've been seeing Gragas more and more often. So we are changing up our runes a little bit today. We got a request in the comment section by a couple of people actually recommending these rune paths. So what we're doing today is we're doing Zombie Ward. We also got a recommendation for um, Ghost Poro as well. And we are going to test that out in future videos as well. So let's see how that goes. I'm going to get away from that. That's really loud. Um, so we are luckily enough starting um, Red Buff, which is really good. Hopefully this Lucian comes and gives us a little love. Looks like he is. And then I always recommend when you start Red Buff and you're going up, so how we're going up and we're, our red buff is going to be our first buff um, to gank mid level 2 if possible. Just to either chunk them out or you I mean you have a really good potential of getting summoners or even a kill sometimes. So we'll just work this down. Get a pretty good leash from our teammates here. I like to drag it into this bush so that way my team will actually just auto it as they uh, walk closer to their, their lane. I might not be able to get this because this lane is pushed up so far. But maybe. I don't know if she warded or not. Talon kind of pushed this lane out super hard. So I don't think we're going to be able to gank for him early. So instead, we're just going to come over here straight to our red. Or our blue buff, rather. And then we'll probably look top for early top lane gank. And what I actually messed up doing here is I should have placed a ward right here. And then back and swap for a trinket. So I actually did not manage to do that. You can kind of tell I'm not used to running this setup. So we'll just E over the wall right there, auto W this, and then just work it down with some enhanced autos. Pop a pot too, because if possible, I really don't want to have to smite this blue buff. I want to save it for my Gromp, and then smite the uh, Scuttle Crab. So we'll see how it goes. Looks like he's getting an early reset in, which is fine. We just have to be really conscious of this uh, Gragas here. All right, so I'm not going to E the first two autos of Gromp. You can't dodge them anyways. So we'll just pop a pot ourselves, work it down with the autos, and then we'll smite him when he gets a little low here. And I'm keeping my eyes over there, making sure we're not going to get ganked. Cheese by the, uh, the Gragas there. All right, so we are level three. Finished it up a little faster than the before the Scuttle could even spawn, which is good. Let's see, what's the stain? All right, that is pushing out really hard. So I'm just going to chill right here and wait for this Scuttle to spawn. And then I'll take the Scuttle and look top. All right, so let's just work this thing down. Auto W it. Hit it with the slow right here. And then we'll just go ahead and smite it. And then I'm going to look for this fight. I need him to look for a fight on her, though. That's a big wave, unfortunately. But maybe he can bait a fight out of her here. I'm not sure if this is warded or not. Um, She probably just got a reset in herself. Well, maybe not. All he has to do is literally just walk up to her. I'm going to get a slow here on her. Auto W, hit her with a Q. Nice. Good knockback by him. Don't think we'll secure this kill, but we got her flash, which is real nice. And depending on what she does here. Ooh, they get a first blood down bot lane. I was about to say, depending on what she does, I can even look for a return gank too. But since she's not going to actually keep pushing, we'll just back. Back, jump in the jungle. And then try to grab this. Looks like the Draven lane's a little difficult for the homies down there. We'll see what we can't do. Make sure to auto W these. Just work them down. Yes, I agree. Their lane is super oppressive. Alright, I'm going to save my smite until I get a reset in. So we'll just reset. He's freezing her out right here, which is really, really smart by him. Making her miss as much as possible. And then we will back, grab our jungle component here. A control ward and a sweeper. Very important that you grab that sweeper as a uh, jungler. Definitely want to cop that. All right, let's see what it's looking like up here. Hecarim's really, really strong as a champion. He just can't. He has to manage to not get hit by that stun, and I think he wins. Um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to play through these guys until we hit level 6. So I may actually just look to play topside, especially since her flash is down. 
Right, so let's just clear up a little bit of this jungle here. Look for an E onto this. I'll smite it here. And then I'm just making sure to use my W on the low chickens. So that way we can get the reset. As Fizz, I try to tend to stay away from the... Um... Let's actually look for a gank here. Maybe, potentially. She has no vision. Alright, yeah. This could potentially be a kill here. Got a flash out of her, which is really nice. Now I'm just going to come back up through here and try to look for a fight. Uh, that wave is pushing in, I think, on against us, unfortunately. Alright, so let's ping her flash. That's really good. If he resets, then I'll just take this and then look for that. Look for a gank on him afterwards. We have our smite, so we should be able to stay pretty healthy through this. I don't want to use my Q because I don't want to, like, use too much mana. Nice. Gets a kill onto the Kai'Sa, which is really juicy. All right, we'll just smite this, auto W it, and then run over here. All right, the Gragas is mid, which is good. Giving us a lot of information there. Um, we could probably dive this. Yes, let's go for it. We need to do it before she gets her passive up. I'm going to lead the charge here because I can de-aggro the tower. And then I'll just E, and we'll clear this. Really good dive by my uh, Hecarim. Played that really well based off of me as well. Um, I'm definitely going to try and help them, but obviously they can see I'm topside. There's not too much I can do. All right, we'll get a reset in here. I'm going to ask him to help me right here because I really want this scuttle. Plus, Gragas could definitely be here. But since he's six, we can easily contest this. All right, so let me hit that for the mana for me and him. And then we should be able to grab this. Oh, man, our bot lane's not doing so hot. I want this more so than uh, that gank on the mid lane. So I need to get my level 6. Oh, I missed that, actually. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. We just scale up. All right, let's look for a QW onto this. Try to get our reset. We did not. She might just ward right here. We can catch her as she comes to ward. I'm going to look for a flash onto her just for the slow here. Auto W or hit her with a Q. And this should be a pretty free kill. I just need my buddy to auto her one time. Wow. He just needed to hit her one time. And we could have killed her there. For sure. I'm going to take this control ward out. But that at least gives us pressure here. She can't. She's got to reset. Which will give him plates. Alright. Let's uh, start working towards this. Not too much I can do about that. I'm going to try and come down there. But it w it's all up to this guy jumping over and getting a kill I kind of have to play topside because this guy these dudes are doing so uh, having such an early rough game we'll see what we can't do I'm going to take my red buff uh, this guy's typing a lot just trying to get me to come down there we can't do anything we can't do anything I understand that buddy you're uh, at a disadvantage right now but there's nothing I can do. I play topside very heavily. All right, got our level six. Let's look to clear up a little bit more. Because if I come down there and try and fight that guy, I'm also going to probably end up dying to him. Further extending the lead. So I just have to play off of someone who actually is doing well. I.e. the Talon or my top laner. All right, so let's maybe look for a gank up here. Onto this chick. We could potentially look for something here for sure. Just get some sweep action through here. I'm going to throw my control ward down right there. Could potentially look for this. Look for a fish on tour. Fish lands. Give that to Talon. Or I'll take it myself. And then we'll come down through here and take out that ward. Really good dive by the Talon. Very, very well played. Following up on me. I'm going to come here. Oh, I'm trying to help him. I got him. Nice. Talon gets him. Very, very well played. Good job by the Talon. And then I want to just stick around right here to get the XP and push this wave in. And I'll honestly probably just look top. I'm not going to bother going bottom. They're so strong, the Draven is. But there's no point in me trying to mess with him. But I could definitely look to go top lane here. So really good uh, pick onto the with the Talon right there. Really, really juicy. That's going to allow me to get the Scuttle. Grab a uh, blue buff here. And then maybe look top. All 
He's talking about giving the tower, but you, it's only one plate. He needs to just chill. And also, yeah, like I said, Talon could be coming down there and helping as well. I have my ult. I'm eight. I want to look to fight this guy if possible. I'm going to pop some pots preemptively. Just wait right here. We're definitely looking for this fight. I want to get her before she looks for um, for a fish on tour. Smite her. Q auto W her. And then just like I said, I take the aggro because I can get rid of the aggro with my E. And then we'll just work down this tower with our homie here and just play topside, honestly. We'll let Talon do the roaming if he's going to. Now, I want Hecarim to help me take this. If possible. I'm going to keep pinging him. I've given him so much help, he should definitely come over here and help me with this. Um, Hopefully. No, Sona, I'm not asking for your help, buddy. <laughs> definitely stay down there. All right, if we take this, I'm going to give it to Hecarim. So that way he can drop it either uh, top or whatever. I mean, he doesn't need wars. I don't know why he would be opposed to taking that. He's snowballing, so there's really no reason for him not to take it. All right, let's clear this up and then probably, honestly, just look uh, top again. Because we're doing so well off of this top lane, we just super snowball this. And hopefully Talon can make something happen down there. All right, let's get a sweep action as we come through here, too. Or we could look mid as well if uh, I really have dip. All right, I see him there. These guys got to be careful. I want to look mid, potentially. I do have my alt, so we can maybe look to make something happen. I'm not sure where she has vision, though. We'll just sit right here. I'm definitely going to just dive her right here. Look for a fish onto her. That was close. That's fine. We should still be able to dive her here. And if not, we'll just get mad plates. And we can chop her off of all this XP too. I need Talon to come down and help me. I got to flash away from them here. Oh, he still hits me with it. Very unlucky. But at least we're getting a lot topside here. All right, we got a lot of gold on us, so let's let's get the back in here. Ooh, the Thresh Roams. Very nice by the enemy team. Um, let's grab that, and then let's go ahead and do two pieces of armor, because they do have a lot of armor. Our top lane's going ham, though. All we have to do is just sit and scale. We scale pretty hard. Plus, this guy's Roams are going to be real strong. All their kills are on these two guys as well, so. See if my team will come through here. Hecarim might die to that, though. All right, they get the dragon. Honestly, not that terrible. We just have to start contesting the drakes after this one and make sure that they don't get the dragon soul. Hopefully, she doesn't try and steal this from me here. All righty. Let's just keep farming up, and then we'll look to play around Talon and uh, Hecarim here really all we can do plus we can catch this uh, Draven slipping all we have to do is just land a fish on him We're right here maybe potentially let's just chill I'm just trying to see it where their vision is I'm definitely looking for this need okay I'll just just waiting right there. They do have vision here, but I'm going to take this out. Nice. Take that out. And then I'll probably just come up to this top side, honestly. 
We got a pretty strong Talon. Really, really strong Hecarim. Um, we just play through these guys. Lucian getting 1v1 by the Kai'Sa. Guy's not having a great game for himself. Kind of super pressured in. Not too much he can do about that. I'm going to come here and try to make a play off of this Hecarim. Yeah, let's try and grab this first, and then we'll make a play. Let me. Hopefully, he lets me grab this. Let's see, let's see if this chick has any wards here. She does, but I really just want to go for the kill onto her here. Smiter, and then QW through. I shouldn't need to ult. Nice. Get him another kill, and then we can look to make a play down through here. All right, with Hecarim, we should be able to do this pretty easily. see uh we're kind of just waiting to see what talon does honestly too they may have vision right there honestly Let's see i want to make a play off of hecarim he's super strong so that's possible that's what i'd like to do I'm just gonna smite that so that way they don't have uh steal that from me potentially and if kaisa comes in i can all Lucian getting some good time to scale up. That's good. I'm going to look mid here. All right, got a nice 5 KP out of 9. That's pretty huge. It's more than 50%, so that's good. We can maybe look to make a play on this guy. He's super far up. Extend it. Look for a fish onto him. Lands. Hit him with the Q auto W. Looks like uh, Homeboy's going to let him die. The Draven, which is good for me. Pick up another assist. I'm going to go to my blue buff here. And then probably clear the rest of my jungle up on this top side and get a reset in. Talon's getting really strong, which is solid. That's what we need. And we're looking pretty good here. We got Hecarim super far ahead. And uh, our this guy will do all right. He'll be fine. He'll get back into the game. Um, where did they put that at? I heard someone drop a fire sight. I'm going to come up here, actually, and try to prevent anything crazy from happening. He's got a kite to me, I think. Mm, I don't think I can get her. Nice. I stopped his ult there. I'm going to hit with the E right here just for the slow and then let him take care of it. WQ him so he doesn't kill anyone through the stun. And then we should be Gucci. Nice. Got ourselves 7 assists here. Or 7 KP. I'm going to come here as well. And then let's go ahead and buy this. Grab that. Grab this. Looking pretty juicy. Um, I'll come answer this push right here. Hopefully this guy will eventually... Holy shit, I didn't realize he was down 100 CS. I think he's just tilted at this point. We gotta kill this guy. That guy's gotta be the one to die. I'm gonna flash R this guy. Really just anything to kill the Draven. Nice, we're gonna kill all these guys. Very, very juicy. All right, let's just queue through this so we can try and get to this guy and get a KP on him. Really, really good. All right, team doing really well. Shut down the Draven. Got a bunch of kills. Hopefully, that'll give our uh, Lucian a little bit of motivation. Make him feel a little bit better about the situation. Because he should be able to just farm that out pretty easily. Pretty sure we just killed this chick. I might be able to kill him right here. Yeah, he's toast. Nice. And then she should be dead as well. Very good. Managed to kill all of them. Then we'll turn that right into a dragon here. Good job by my team. Everyone just playing really, really well here. I don't have smite, so we'll just let someone else take that. And then I am going to take this red buff because I'm pretty strong. Got three kills. Let's take this out for our zombie ward. And then, ooh, I really don't want to fight that. They just got to give. Yeah, I was about to say, hopefully just get out of that situation. Preferably. Because I'm going to grab this and then get a reset in here. Uh, yeah, because both of our other people who are dealing damage are low. So I'm going to just get a reset in, grab the Zanyas. Because even if we fought right now, we'd be kind of forcing it. Ah, uh, we're going to maybe have to. Uh, just kidding. I think he just got caught as he was recalling. Not a huge deal there.
Just take that chicken from him. Don't let him get it. I have to recall here. I have eight, 1,800 gold. I can buy my Zanyas and start working a Lich Bane. Um, let's go ahead and grab that and that. Nice. Pretty nice little buy for us there. All right. Not too bad. 318. Got some really good KP, especially considering this guy's so strong. And I think we're doing pretty good here. I want to only make plays around basically the Talon and or my Hecarim. I think they're really the only people that are strong at the moment for our team. Just kind of waiting to see what happens here. I don't want to venture out too far. We can maybe make a play onto her. She's going to come hopefully my way. Oh, he just annihilates her. I'm gonna double, I was about to say, I'm going to double E to her. I don't want to pursue him because the Thresh and the other guy. Okay, there's Thresh. I was about to say, or Draven could be coming through here. I'm just coming up here to see if there's any vision, any uh, control wards or anything. We can come here, but we need Talon. Just chill here. He's got to be careful. They're all Mia from here. Uh, she's got to be careful, Sona does. If we don't have everyone else with us, we can't fight them. That might be a little bad for homeboy, the Hecarim. Yeah, so I was about to say he's, he's strong, but he ain't that strong. All right, let's bail out of here. Hecarim getting a little... uh. A little upset because he thought the whole team was coming. We were like very far away from him. And it was super telegraphed. Just going to double E away from this guy. He should not be able to get me here. I was about to say, if he comes, maybe we can kill this guy. If he like hard committed onto me. I'm going to try and come over here. Talon's probably just dead. Yeah. Draven's super strong. She needs to not be doing that. We don't have an ADC right now, unfortunately. We can't fight that. We can't fight that. Nice. Get my zombie ward there. She needs to not be walking up like that. Because she just gets hooked once and dies. Don't really have an ADC here with us. It's going to be super hard to win this game, I think. But we could probably still crank it out. This guy's got to be careful. They're coming up here to him. But with Talon, if we have Talon here, we can fight it. Look for a preemptive fish on him. Hits. Smite him. Hit him with the Q. Auto W him. Oh, I thought I E'd. I right, got his flash. That's really good. No, we're not doing Baron. I don't know why this Lucian would be calling the shots here anyways. <laughs> Trying to call Baron. Why is this Lucian not here? Our Lucian's really... Um, I'm not sure what his macro is doing. He should be able to defend that. Because he was down there anyways. They could definitely come contest this because Draven's alive now and we don't have our Hecarim up here, unfortunately. And his ping is super high. We can maybe burst it, though. I'm just going to fish this guy and just hopefully burst this down. I got Smite at 760, so... Nice, I got it. I could potentially still get out of this, too. I got a lot there. I got double flash, R, and the dragon. All right, that's all. That's really not that bad in the grand scheme of things. I don't know why this guy took the red buff from our seven and one. We got to try and stop that. 
I don't know why they're targeting her. They have to hit this guy. A little unlucky, man, that this guy is completely taken over because we don't have an ADC. Alright, all we can do right here is just weather the storm. Hopefully this guy understands this. The Hecarim. Because for some reason he targeted the 1 in 5 Kaisa there. Which is weird. This guy is taking Krugs instead of pushing lanes out. Solution's playing a very, very weird game. Like, I understand he's probably frustrated or whatnot. But... Still, even still. I can sit right here and maybe catch Aurelia Roman down here to try and pick off this guy. And if not, then we can take this tower at the very least. Lucian needs to be pushing this. He's like slow pushing this. Oh, just autoing it one by one. I was about to say, Hecarim definitely should not be taking that fight. Put fish on tour. Nice. Ah, I couldn't Zonya's in time. That was my bad. I didn't think Gragas was going to show up there. Yeah, we're going to have to come up here and answer this guy. This Lucian is uh, tilting me. I'm not going to lie. This guy's tilting me. It just seems like he's like non-existent in this game. But we'll see how this goes. The Baron, like them taking there is just super hard. Like, um, yeah, man, this Draven just chunks so hard. I was about to say, if they don't kill Draven, we just lose the game, the fight. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do even so there. Draven's like so strong. Even with it, especially with this Baron buff, like we can't defend it. All we can really do is just, just weather the storm and hopefully they just throw. All right, let's look for a fish on someone. Even if we just look for a, I still have Zonya so I can maybe, ooh, I was about to say maybe bait something out here, but no. A little unlucky here, boys. We had a really solid jungle game. It's just this cat. 3 KP out of 21. Not too much we can do. I definitely think we outjungled this guy. He just, if it wasn't for this dude just solo carrying, he 1v9. Not too much we can do. That should be game, just because this guy is just so incredibly strong right now. All right, boys, there it is. We did try out the zombie reward. Didn't feel too bad. I think it's a lot better for junglers, you know what I mean? So this was a good game to run it. Um, sorry we couldn't get the W for you guys. Definitely attempted it. Definitely tried. Look for a little kill onto the this guy, maybe. Ooh, or just die again. Um, I was hoping I could get a kill onto that Draven. Nice. Get the kill onto Draven, at least. All right, boys, we'll take you to after action after this. All right, guys, this is the after action for the game we just played against that Gragas jungle. So starting from my top laner, our Hecarim was sitting at gold four. We had a gold four in the jungle for me, sitting at 73 LP. We had a platinum three in the mid lane, a level six ADC, a level 209 support. And this might actually be a level six guy. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it Like when I say a lot of times you'll see these new accounts being leveled and it's usually just like someone leveling a smurf but if <laughs> I, at this point i'll say smurf with the air quotations right here um this guy could be leveling an account for a smurf or it's definitely just a level six player um yeah his gameplay honestly speaks for itself his 
His uh, Sona support more than doubled his damage. I understand having a rough lane and stuff, but like his macro plays were very, very sus as well. Um, as for the jungle game, felt pretty solid. We definitely had avenues where we made it work. Um, we were trying to work as much as we could through this guy. I think maybe at a certain point, we should have just ran it down top lane. Like that could have been a win con. Just me and this guy crushing that Irelia even harder than we did. And then maybe getting some inhibs top to get to like a, some pressure top lane. Just having like an extra champion. Maybe drawing their team away. But, you I mean, with all things considered, you I mean, all three of us definitely tried to cop that W there. So starting from the enemy top laner, they had a bronze two in the top lane, level 23 in the jungle. That's who we're going up against. They had a platinum four ADC. And now this is all starting to make sense. I did not realize that this guy was Grandmaster, the uh, ADC, but it makes a lot of sense now. Um, obviously in game, I didn't know he was Grandmaster. And that it's kind of crazy because I looked at the, uh, the ELOs too. So I'm surprised that didn't catch my mind. But yes, yeah, so this makes a lot of sense. Most damage in the game. Um, 1v9 the whole game, honestly. And uh, they had a gold two support. Pretty solid game, like I said. I think if this guy wasn't Grandmaster, if this was just a regular Draven player, or even a diamond tier Dra Draven player, with uh, the the couple avenues we have, we could have beat this guy. Now that I see that this guy is Grandmaster, I feel a little bad about harping on how, how rough this guy did. Um, but, I mean, it's like, you I mean, on the opposite side of that, yes, he was up against a Grandmaster in lane, but he really didn't do anything even outside of lane, and both of the supports dealt more damage than him. But what can you do? When someone makes you suck their pay has, you just suck their pay has. So all in all, pretty solid game. The jungle felt really good. The zombie ward, I feel like we didn't run into a lot of enemy vision, but it started picking up in the later halves of the stages. So I, I usually run eyeball collection. Let's see, we had four... So we would have had 14 stacks of the, or 10 stacks of the eyeball collection. Obviously, we didn't get that last kill, the fourth kill until the very end on that Draven. But I think we would have had the eyeball collection fully stacked up. But, I mean, we also weren't doing a, a whole bunch of uh, dewarding. But we did get a pretty high vision score. I'm not sure where it tells that at. Let's see. Um, right here. So we got three wards placed, five wards killed. Oh, this is, this is me right here. 12 wards placed, 7 wards killed. So that's a pretty good amount. This chick obviously is support. She's roaming around. She has way more wards to place. Um, but the jungler, the enemy jungler, we out-jungled him in terms of wards. He did, did get way more control wards than us, but we took out way more wards. And uh, we had the same amount of wards killed. Or placed way more wards than him. But like I said, felt pretty good. We're going to try the ghost portal in the next video and see how that feels. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you haven't yet subbed to the channel, it really does help, and we'd love to have you here. If you want to see anything in the future in specific, let me know in the comment section below. All right, hope to see you guys on the next video.